friends, with Black Friday upon us, Luna and I wanted to just talk about some of our favorite products just in case you were doing any holiday shopping. Now, a few years ago, I pretty much just tell Mark exactly what I want at this point, and sometimes I'll even order it for myself and then say, here is the present that I would like wrapped under the tree. I just find as I get older, that's how it works best. I don't know if you're the same way. I'd rather have something under the tree. I don't want everybody to forget about me, so I make sure to order a couple things for myself. Now, tell me down below, are you a Black Friday shopper? My sister and I actually love going Black Friday shopping. It's kind of just the tradition of it. Um, there's never that big of crowds in, um, anymore, and that's okay, but there are some really good deals. So filtered in this video, I will talk about some of the things that I will be looking for on Black Friday. But let me just share with you some of my favorite products that I have been accumulating over the past 12 months that you might want to put on your Christmas list or buy to give somebody on your list. Whoop, there goes Luna. Let's go. What do you want for Christmas? Say an automatic cleaning litter box. So my litter box will be fresher than it is right now. Hi. Hi. Oh. <laughs> All right. The first thing on my list is my Lululemon fanny pack. I just bought this on a whim one day. I think they're kind of hard to find sometimes. Now they're kind of popular. But let me just say that I have been converted to the fanny pack life. Uh, you probably have seen it in my Costco videos. I wear it like this, or I will put it around my waist, but it is just perfect for carrying my phone, my keys. I always keep my AirPods in them unless they're charging so that when I go to the gym, this is all I have to grab. And then I got this wallet off of Amazon when I got this fanny pack because it is just so thin and it holds my credit cards and my license. I made sure to take my license out so I wasn't showing you guys uh, any important information. But then it does have some mesh pockets inside which are helpful. I keep my GoPro batteries in there when I'm filming my Costco hauls, but it also has this back zipper, which is really good when we're traveling. I'll keep important documents in there. And then I also always stash my work receipts in here so that they keep separate from any other receipts. And then I know to take them out when I get home. So uh, it is the perfect little purse, you know, especially when we just went on vacation. It was so helpful. I just knew everything was in here when I needed it to. That being said, sometimes I need something a little nicer than this. And that is where my Teddy Blake bag comes in. I love this bag. It is the most beautiful green color. You might have seen me wearing this shopping as well. It has a strap or you can just use the handles. I love this bag because honestly what I do is when I need something fancier, I take my fanny pack and I stick it inside and then I stick in my water bottle and I stick in all my filming gear, my cameras, the batteries. And then I have this beautiful purse to switch back and forth with because this is super, super casual. So if you have been in the market for a nice purse, Teddy Blake, they're awesome. Instead of having brick and mortar stores, which can be really expensive and make the prices of bags really nice, leather bags go up, they focus online and make these beautiful bags. And they are running lots of sales for the holidays. So make sure that you go check out Teddy Blake if you want a beautiful bag. They have small bags, they have bigger bags. I went for bigger because this even fits my laptop in it if I'm going like to a cafe to work or something and I can stick my laptop in there. So check out Teddy Blake. New York. This video should really be Lauren and Luna recommend because she's just going to follow me around everywhere. What do you think of the bag, huh? What do you think of my bags? She says, do you have any treats in there? Do you have any treats in your bag, mom? <coughs> Next up, we are in the bathroom and I'm going to share a couple of my favorite things in here. First up, you guys have heard me talk about them, but Bend Soap, they have new holiday scents mint mocha, peppermint, winter woods. Oh, it's so good. Their scents are just so good. Peppermint. I love peppermint. And they've got chapsticks, body scrubs. Um, 
If I had to pick my favorite products from Ben's Soap, it would be their milk bath because I love a good bath. Soaking in this for 45 minutes, I feel like I like shed a whole layer of skin and get a new really soft layer of skin. So my number one product, and could be yours if you like baths, is the milk bath. And if you're not into baths, their soaps are amazing. Now they don't make these soaps into liquid soaps, like a body wash, because the goat's milk has such amazing properties to it that if you turn it into a liquid, some of those properties are lost. So right now they're sticking with bar soaps, but their whole site, if you're watching this, end of November, is having a 25% off the entire site sale which is fantastic. So if you've been wanting to try the Bend Soap, go on, holiday scents, or in my opinion, their unscented and their oat and honey soaps are the best. I love the oat and honey. If you or anybody in your family have dry skin, psoriasis, uh, eczema, these soaps are fantastic for them because they have nothing extra added, no dyes, no parabens. They are all natural and the goat's milk just has like magical properties. I think Luna came up behind me again. We're gonna play where's Luna through this entire video cause she's just gonna follow me around which none of us have a problem with, I'm sure. Okay, on to the next bathroom product. If you saw my recent clean and pack with me, then you probably already saw this, but just really quickly, this is my favorite toiletry bag. It comes in a ton of colors from Amazon. Um, I was reminded on my trip how much I love it because it holds so much stuff. And if you put it the right way, you can hang it up while you're traveling. Hands down, one of the best purchases I have made in the last year. If you ever go anywhere and need to bring all the stuff for the bathroom, Highly recommend this on Amazon. Another thing that I ordered recently to help me take off my makeup every night is these little pads. They're little minky pads and they work really well. I just use water at night. I wash my face in the morning with soap, but at night I just use these to remove my makeup. I had a big one and I was using it and then it would be dirty and I didn't want to use a dirty one again. So this came with a pack of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think nine and it may have been 10, probably 10. And then I just wash it my face with it and then throw it in my dirty clothes basket and then by the time I've used all 10, I've done the wash again and have these ready to take off my makeup. So I really, really, really like these. Another thing that I ordered that has been really nice and helpful, I like a clean, organized look. Um, every time I open the drawer, it was full of flossers. We love to use flossers with our kids. Um, I got this little pick holder. It's called the Holy Rose pick holder. I don't know if it'll cat. Let's see if I can get it to go. The whole, it's just trying to focus on my face. Let's see, can I block my face and make it work? Come on, there we go. I don't know. They're called the Holy Rose Picks. And what happens is you um, push this little button and a new pick comes out. I don't know if you guys saw that. And you just pick it out. And then I bought some replacements to put in there. This holds 88. Um, I actually got one for upstairs and downstairs so the boys could keep theirs because they just end up gross and then you don't want to like put a gross one in your mouth. I don't know. My Ours always get dumped out into some sort of bin or drawer and then I feel like they're kind of dirty by the time you put them in your mouth. So I love this. And then we can just give one of the kids a job to refill it or I'll refill it because it'll probably be relaxing to just refill it. So you just push the button. Let me do it sideways. You push the button and a pick comes out. This will be my pick for tonight. I'm going to leave it on the counter. And this will be Mark's because I did it twice. <laughs> my last bathroom item is this little kit by iMethod. You know, they sent this to me for to try out and I wasn't sure. It is used. They are these little stencils that you put on and then you dab on the makeup to do your eyebrows. I did my eyebrows with them today. Um, I wasn't I didn't think that I would like this, if I'm being honest. And now I find myself reaching for it every day because it just quickly, like after I got my eyebrows waxed and shaped, it just quickly fills them in nicely and we're ready to go. So Amazon, and if I haven't already said this, links to all of these products will be down in the description below for easy shopping. All right, out of the bathroom and let's go find a few more products. 
Next up, we are in the kitchen, and I have several things in here that you've probably heard me talk about, but let's just get them all in one place. First up are these geometry tea towels. They come in beautiful prints. This is actually one of their Christmas prints, but I tried to pick some prints that could be used all year round. Um, and I love this pine one. Oop, I showed you the wrong side. I was looking at it. <laughs> pine needles, gorgeous. I love how big they are, and then they fold up super small. If you're unfamiliar with these, they are made from recycled water bottles and they are super absorbent and they fold up nice and small and I love them. I also have their washcloths, which I love and just ordered something new, which I'm trying out. So I don't really have an opinion on these except for that they're beautiful and they're super soft and they are made out of water bottles and they're just more of a geo suede. These are a geo weave. They kind of have like a geometric waffle pattern and these are really soft and these are some holiday napkins that came in a pack of six they are so fun um, not my traditional holiday colors but hello inspector luna but i am actually super excited to set the table with these for the holidays so my code is always good for geometry lauren h15 for whatever sale they have going on I know that they have been hit really hard lately with their 35% uh, off sale. So I'm not sure what's available, but these will always and forever be on my favorite things list. I'm just one of those people when I find what I like, I just stick with it. So geometry towels. Next up, I always, next up, these are parchment paper liners from Amazon. They're unbleached. I just really, really like them. I love that they are the size of a pan already, so I'm not trying to figure out how to cut it to the right size. So I just keep them in the drawer. You guys have seen me use them all the time. They're from Amazon. I will link them down below. Next up in the kitchen are my silicone baking liners. You guys have probably heard me talk about these, but I have to show you what I got the other day. Just in time to make some little pumpkin muffins, might I add. Look at these mini ones. I have a mini muffin tin and so, because I like these so much, I decided to order these too. It makes it so you don't have to spray the pan. You do have to scrub these a little bit, but um, the colors are on point. These are like my brand colors. I wish these bright ones were now these ones. They do have them in these colors, so I don't know. They're both fun, both really handy, washable, and the number one thing about it is when you use a paper liner and you peel it off, I feel like half the muffin usually comes off with the liner. That doesn't happen with these. The muffins pop right out. So I really recommend them. And every single boy came up to me when I had these out on the counter and were like, oh, they're so cute. Even Hunter was like, what are those? They're so cute because they're just so tiny. We need to make our own little Reese's peanut butter cups in these because they're the perfect size. On to the next item. This next item has been seen a thousand times on this Alaska Life, but this is the Full Star Chopper. This thing is amazing. I use this every single day, sometimes multiple times a day to chop onions, tomatoes, um, carrots, anything you want chopped into little tiny pieces. This is amazing. Um, it does take a little bit of effort and just be warned. It says right here, caution sharp. This thing is incredibly sharp. It comes with this little brush. It actually comes with two different size of blades, but it also comes with this brush. And this is the key to getting it clean and getting it clean up here. And all the pieces come apart too. So you could throw them in the dishwasher or clean them easier by taking them apart. But this is a product that if it breaks, I buy it again because I love it and use it that much. I think that's it for the kitchen. Let's see what else I have on my list.
Next up is the Yeedy Vac and Mop. I did not clean up the floors today. We're gonna see how it does doing the obstacle avoidance. Um, it's a mess in here, but we're gonna see how it does vacuuming and mopping. This, ah, Luna is so concerned about the vacuum. It is going to vacuum and mop while I get the rest of my chores done today. So I'd say it's a good thing to have around. This is the Yeedy 2 Vac Pro. So it is a vacuum and a mop together. And then I also have the self-cleaning station so that when it goes back to the docking station to charge, all the stuff gets sucked out of it. You do have to add water if you're doing the mopping mode. And if it's doing mopping mode, it will not go on the carpets. And if you go onto Amazon to check out the Yeedy vacuum systems, make sure you always look for a coupon code. There's usually something to click under the price to get a good discount. So make sure you click that coupon code if you are shopping for a robot vacuum this holiday season. Um, I highly recommend this one. Let's let it get to work vacuuming and mopping while I show you the rest of my products and then we'll come back and check in on it. The only problem is that Luna is very leery of it. She thinks it's her nemesis. You can start it with the app, but you can also just go boop. It's gonna vacuum and mop. Thank you, Evie. So I feel like a lot of Black Friday has gone online now. And so uh, checking Amazon for Black Friday deals. One thing that I really have loved lately. I got the smart plugs from Amazon because we have Amazon echoes around our house or the Amazon tower things. Um, we can do things like this. Alexa, turn on the light. Okay. Alexa, turn off the light. Okay. We now have these on several of the lamps around our house and I absolutely love them. But if we are talking about in store, do you want to go somewhere? I thought you wanted to be pet. You've been meowing at me and following me around for the last hour. I think she's concerned because the vacuum mop is still going out there. So I mentioned in the beginning of this video, some of the Black Friday shopping my sister and I like to do. Fred Meyer is one of our favorite places to go, which is a local Kroger store. Um, they usually have socks, buy one, get one free, which can be a great time to stock up on some socks. They always have games, buy one, get one free. I haven't checked the ad yet this year, but that is why we go to Fred Meyer. And they also often have good electronic sales. So if there's a specific thing that I'm wanting uh, for one of the boys or Mark or something, then I will go and grab them at Fred Meyer. Uh, we usually will go to Target and just see their Christmas jammies, Christmas movies, um, books, and if they have any special deals on electronics or games also in their toy section, I will pick those up. This year, um, we are actually in the market for not one, but two washing machines. One for our house, one for the Airbnb. <laughs> I don't like spending money on things like washing machines, but Mark has repaired both of them multiple times and we have just been making them eke along for so long. I think that might be one thing we're looking for on Black Friday, unfortunately. But hopefully we can find a good deal. Costco does have some good sales throughout the whole season, but there's kind of change up week to week. So you just got to check their flyer for that. So those are the things that we do on Black Friday. We try and hit up Fred Meyer, Target. Sometimes we will go to a local store called Big Ray's. If you are an Alaskan, they do all their kids boots 50% off on Black Friday. That is a huge blessing and they have some of the best snow gear around. So they are a great local store to check out for Black Friday if you are in the Anchorage area. Um, but yeah, that's what we hit up for Black Friday. Target, Fred Meyer, Kohl's sometimes, and we'll be checking out Lowe's and Best Buy this year. It is supposed to be really snowy on Black Friday, which makes things a little bit tricky. If the weather is too bad, I will be shopping online, which is probably where I will be doing most of my holiday shopping this year. If I'm being honest, I just like to go find a few fun things on Black Friday with my sister. Next, I want to talk about one of the biggest things that has made a difference in my life over the last eight months. And many of you have asked about how my health journey is going. And thankfully, it is going really, really well. And when I say that, it doesn't mean it's been perfect. It has been up and down and up and down. Thankfully, my weight has been on the downward trajectory, but that's with lots of ups and downs 
along the way as well. And so I figured I would mention this book again because this is where it all started. This book, you can drop it. I grabbed it off of Amazon. Ilana is a registered dietitian that lost 100 pounds herself. This was just really helpful for me starting out on my health journey. It helped give me a guide on how to eat better. And let me just give you my opinion of it. Now, this book is available on Amazon. Her program is available through Beachbody and that frustrates me because I don't love the Beachbody program because they try and upsell you and make you sign up for all these things that you don't need. So I went on Amazon and got this book and really this is all you need. This is very helpful. This is my food tracker, but honestly you could just use a notebook and I'll tell you about this in just a second. Just a quick disclaimer in case you weren't around for my first video. First of all, I am not a doctor. I cannot give professional advice, so please consult a doctor before you make any changes in your life. Number two, I know that my worth and your worth has nothing to do with the number on the scale. So losing weight is not gonna make me happier. It is not gonna make me a better person, but it can make me healthier and can help me to lead the life that I want to, the active lifestyle that I want to. So with that being said, I do think that I will do a whole health update video and tell you more, but I will tell you the things that I have found most helpful out of this book. Number one, I have never followed a single one of her meal plans or recipes. I just used her overarching suggestions. I never have made a single one of her recipes or followed any like meal plan to like prep anything out. So that is not why I bought this book for the recipes or anything like that. So I can't speak to any of those. They are in here, but I just didn't feel like I needed them. So Ilana's program is called the 2B Mindset, and these are the things that I did do from it. Water first. I increased my water intake by a lot. I try and drink 100 ounces a day. I don't get there very often. I usually hit between 60 and 80 a day, and that has been really helpful, especially if I think I'm hungry and I'm just thirsty. Water Water first. Second is veggies most. I still eat carbohydrates. I still eat treats, but I try and make sure that I've had water first and veggies and protein before I have the treats because I found that the first thing that I eat, I eat a lot of because if I'm hungry, I'm going to eat a lot of it. So if the first thing I eat is veggies and eat a lot of it, then I don't need as much of the treat afterwards. Third is tracking what you eat. This is just to keep track so that you can look back and say, oh, I ate all that and I was fine, or I ate that and I got sick. Um, this tracker is from Beachbody. Um, I signed up under a coach and said no to everything except for buying these. I honestly want to make my own trackers so that when I talk about my health journey, people can just buy it because there's things in here that I don't need. Um, so I waste about half the pages um, because it has things like plan out your whole week and then do your shopping list. I don't do that in this book. Um, the pages that I do use often not every day, I am not perfect at tracking, but I will try and track at least four to five days a week. It has a place to put your weight, how much water you drink, what you had for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, and then like what was good about that day? And did you exercise, which is extra credit? Exercising is wonderful, I do it for my mental health, I do it to feel good, but that is not what I am doing to lose weight. Exercise is just bonus. You lose weight in the kitchen by what you're eating. I am 100% a believer in that now, and it's actually a relief to know that I'm in control of what I eat. Exercise is just a bonus and a mental health wonderful thing. So I think exercising is great. I think eating good is great. I think treats are great. <sighs> I think it all can be part of a healthy lifestyle. Isn't that good news? All right. Um, so I do still have an accountability partner. We text each other daily and talk about what we're struggling with, whether we're doing good, whether we're doing bad, uh, if we didn't track and what we were feeling when we didn't track, if something we ate made us sick because we ate too much of it. Um, it's just good to have somebody to talk to. I have never done that before in a health journey or a weight loss journey, and I have found it very helpful to just have somebody to talk to about it. But let me just tell you one really quick story 
So with this program, she does have you weigh every day, which I know sometimes is a trigger for people. And it has been for me in the past. But let me just tell you a story really quickly to help you see why I think it's valuable to weigh myself now. And it may not be for you, but let me just explain what happens for me. If you saw my most recent video, I went shopping at Costco in Hawaii. And you will be seeing our week in Hawaii here really soon but I did not buy enough vegetables when we were in Hawaii and I ate a lot more like my family eats. So let me give you an idea of a regular day here at home. I have a smoothie in the morning because I have a smoothie that I really like. I have a whole video about my favorite smoothie if you want to see what's in it. I either have that or some eggs and toast in the morning. Then in the afternoon, I will have some sort of veggie Often it's a salad and a protein and maybe a piece of toast or half a sandwich or something like that. So that's my lunch. And then at dinner time, I don't have a lot of carbohydrates. I try and eat my carbohydrates earlier in the day and I am just not hungry for them at dinner. So I have my protein and my vegetables and salad and I am full by the end of dinner. And then sometimes I'll have a small treat after dinner. So that is what a normal day looks like around here. Well, when we went on vacation, I did not buy enough vegetables to do my normal routine. We were eating a lot of sandwiches, Hawaiian chips on the beach, desserts at night. We would go and get popsicles and things to eat. And it was not what I normally do. It was, I did eat a lot of salads and vegetables, but not nearly what I eat when I'm at home, not the way I have been eating to lose over 20 pounds. So I did not take a scale with me and I did not track my eating while I was on vacation. There were just too many moving parts and I just did not do it, which is fine. So I came home and I was up seven pounds in 10 days. And in the past, that would have been a turning point for me. I would have lost all that weight and then immediately got home and been like really guilty, not got on the scale. Now I'm speaking from my heart here, like this is my true experience, so just take it for what it is. But in the past, if I came home knowing that I had eaten very differently, knowing that the scale is gonna be up, I would have avoided the scale. I would have just not stepped on it and I probably would have continued to eat the way that I was eating when I was in Hawaii in all honesty. And that would have been a turning point for me that would have destroyed my health journey. I would have just gotten back onto an old routine. Here's what happened this time. I came home, the next day I got on the scale in the morning like I usually do when I'm here, and I was up eight pounds, which did not feel good, but I knew exactly why I was there because I had eaten a lot of food that I wasn't used to eating. I had just spent 24 hours traveling back home on an airplane being very sedentary. I hadn't drank enough water. So I knew exactly why I was there. And I just said, okay, today I am going to get my veggies in. I'm gonna get my water in and I'm gonna go move my body. And guess what? We are now back from vacation for 10 days and I am back down below where I was when I left. So I took a 10 day break and put on eight pounds and I am now back for 10 days and those eight pounds are now gone and I am below the weight that I was when I left for Hawaii. That in the past would have been a turning point where I would have just gone back to my old habits and put all the weight back on. But instead, I just knew that was just a number on the scale and it had gotten that way because I had just gotten a little bit lazy in my eating and I knew that if I just got back to water, veggies, protein, um, not eating so late at night, when we were in Hawaii, I felt like we have to get through this food. This food has to get eaten before we leave, and so I ate a lot more than I eat when I'm at home. When I'm at home, if I'm full, I just put this stuff back in the fridge because I know I can come back to it tomorrow. Anyways, I just thought I would tell this story in case it's helpful to any of you. Instead of being filled with guilt and shame when I stood on the scale when I got home, I just used it as information. I said, okay, this doesn't feel good. I didn't want to put on this weight. I thought I would eat better while I was in Hawaii, but I didn't. And we can get back on track. We can eat our veggies. I've still had cookies since I've been home. I have still had um, my favorite Utah truffles as a dessert. One of those is like a perfect dessert for me. Um, and I'm back on track. That was a lot of information to tell you how much I love this book. So going into the holiday season, I'm going to keep drinking my water. 
I'm going to keep having my breakfast smoothie every morning because it's what makes me feel good. Um, I am going to keep eating lots of veggies and protein before I go to the treat table because whatever I eat first, I tend to eat a lot of. So if I'm gonna start with pie, then I, that's what I'm gonna get full on. So I'd rather get filled up on veggies and protein and some good bread and then hit the snack table because this is all about what can I add into my life instead of feeling restricted like I can't that I have to take away everything so I enjoy really good food and um, I just share this because I hope that it can help somebody out there not feel guilty when you get off track it's been a lot of ups and downs and lefts and rights but um, our health is important so I'm going to continue on this health journey. I hope to lose another 50 pounds. I'm down 20 something pounds. I'm not sure exactly where I am at the moment, but I hope to lose another 50 doing exactly what I've done here. This has honestly been the healthiest I've ever felt in the process of a health journey because it's a lifestyle change instead of just a quick fix. I have no end date on losing that weight. I just want it to be a slow and steady process that I know is gonna go up and down and up and down and then hopefully trend downwards as it kind of bounces around. That's what usually happens. I will lose a bunch of weight and then it'll bounce around that weight for a couple days or a week and then I will drop again and then bounce around that weight. It is not a steady downhill decline and that can be frustrating but because I keep track of it in this tracker, this book it becomes invaluable because I can look back and see, oh, I really did lose weight or oh, that did make me go up because um I ate really bad for four days in a row. And of course, that's why the scale went up. That's okay, we can fix that. I love my body, I am so grateful for it, and I really do enjoy taking care of it. So that is what I have been doing on my health journey. I thought we needed a whole separate video, but maybe I just put it all right there. Let's go check how the vacuum's doing really quick. All right, the vacuum is hard at work, and the inspector is keeping a very close eye on it. Here's my opinion on the vacuum. It is awesome. Is it gonna do as good of a job as I can do vacuuming and mopping? No. But is it gonna leave my floor so much cleaner while I'm editing a video or I go shopping and I come home? Is it gonna be much cleaner? Yes, it's gonna take me so much less time to do my mopping because it did like the first mop. I don't expect it to do like the deep cleaning mop where you make sure you get every little spot off the floor, but it is gonna make sure my floor is so much cleaner when I turn it on. So I love that you can do it from the app. I think it does a really good job, but it's not like the deep cleaning job. It's more of like a quick clean job and then makes your job easier, if that makes sense. Now, if I did a pre-clean of my floor and swept it and just got all the big stuff up and removed all the obstacles, it would do an even better job. I guarantee it. <laughs> So it is super helpful. I think as I put it on a routine and use it more often, it will keep my floors a lot cleaner, um, but I still need to put that routine into action. So check it out if you are in the market for a robot vacuum. All right, guys, I think that is it for products that I recommend for the holiday season. Um, not anything groundbreaking or really that new on this list, but um, I just like what I like and I... I'm pretty loyal to those things, so I wanted to share them with you. You will see those things in my videos all of the time. So I just wanted to put all the links in one place. I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday season ahead. Um, I'm thinking about doing Vlogmas, which means that I'm going to vlog as many days as possible leading up to Christmas. How do you guys feel about that? Do you want to see more of this Alaska life or stick with the three videos a week? It's going to be a little bit more vloggy style instead of, you know, informational. Um, just kind of show you what the weather is and what we're doing for that day as we lead up to Christmas. What service projects we're doing. Um, what activities for the holidays we're doing. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see Vlogmas from This Alaska Life. I'm gearing up for it. I have a plan to simplify my videos so that I can get them out in more real time. They won't all be in real time, but a lot of them will. So I'm really excited about it. I know it's gonna be a lot of work, but I just love you guys so much and I wanna connect with you more often during the holidays and more in real time. So we love you, we're grateful for you, and we'll see you again real soon for more of This Alaska Life. And a special thanks to our Patreon members for giving us that extra little support of our channel. We are so grateful for you. Bye guys.
So those are, so those are the, some of the, so, so, blah, 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 blah. words are hard.